todos, yo soy Jessica Reyes. Y yo soy Jaco López y le damos la bienvenida al Daily Flash Latino. Bueno, más que todo Daily Flash Spanglish, and our special guest today knows Spanglish well because he's iHeartRadio's personality for La Mega Orlando, 97.1, y le damos la bienvenida a Fabián Marcano. ¿Cómo están, mi amor? Súper. Bienvenido. Súper emocionado, gracias, sí. aquí. Tacho, estoy súper excited. Like, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Really? Like, I can't even get the words out are right you, now. Are you a little nervous? Because it's okay to be a little nervous. It's or is it more like excitement? No, it's, it's excitement because it's my first time on camera, but, you know, I feel comfortable with you guys. So. But you know what? You don't have a face for radio. You belong on TV. Así que déjame darte la patadita de la buena suerte. Pertenece en la tele, mi amor. Gracias. Gracias. No te sorprendas. Okay? Ahora estoy con ustedes. Perfecto. Podemos hacer este, este logro con ustedes juntos. Qué I bueno. love Daily Flash. I watched you guys. I told you. That's why I so love being next us. to you guys. Okay, that's fine. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> it looks good for now. <laughs> okay. Okay, Fabian. Well, before we get into our your expertise of la musica, let's talk about some stories that are making headlines. Comenzamos con esto que llamamos eh, Messi Mania. That's right. Messi Mania has reached the United States, and if ticket prices are any indication, soccer superstar Lionel Messi said he's going to join the Major League Soccer Club Inter Miami, a blockbuster announcement that shocked the sporting world. More so since it followed rumors of a lucrative deal in Saudi Arabia and reports of a move back to Barcelona, the team that made him famous. Well, now ticket prices have soared nearly 1,000% for some games. I said 1,000%. With extraordinary prices rarely seen for MLS games, um, it's unclear when Messi will make his debut, but una fuente de chisme dice that it could be on July 21st. Now, a ticket on average for that game now costs about $1,200. That's a 922% increase compared to the price of 120 bucks that most people in Miami could pay. Um, claro que comprando esta entrada viene con un riesgo ya que no han oficialmente anunciado que él va a ser parte del equipo. Pero yo digo, Dios mío, cada vez que viene un big player, ya sea como un LeBron James para LA, hmm. o bueno, en Orlando todavía no han traído una dios super grande, pero siempre que traen like a, a major player, I understand the prices go up. I get that. Pero contra, mil doscientos dólares. It's inflation. <laughs> Would you pay it? Mil doscientos, no way. And I tell you, <laughs> mirando, I was looking at the Orlando City tickets the other day, el mismo día that he got signed, una taquilla de 19 dólares that was like in the sky, like in the lights, Pero, 19 dollars, 479. Changing the light bulbs for everybody. Pero changing light bulbs, gente. casi 500 ahora. ¿Qué es esto? La gasolina, que la van a seguir subiendo. So. Like, what is going on with that? I don't get it. It's messy, he's I, big. But it's messy, yeah. Mm. Y messy es el, el un estrella. So, I mean, I get like toda la movida. It's Miami, mm. so everyone's super excited in Florida now, pero I still think like, But you know, know what's good so though ridiculous. now? We have an iHeart connection and they always get tickets to everything. <laughs> so maybe you'll hook us up. I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you. All right, then. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, bueno, mi gente. Mira, llevan en la sangre la vena artística y la belleza. Dante, el hijo de Juanes y Karen Martínez, ha causado furor a sus 13 años. El joven se ha convertido en el protagonista de Veneno, el video del artista que estrenó hace unas semanas atrás. Dante se roba el show en este video donde ejerce de luchador y protagoniza alguna que otra pelea de la que sale bien parado. Afortunadamente es ficción, pero supo meterse en el papel y convencer al público que quedó encantado. El hijo de Juanes también es un apasionado de la música, like his dad, quien hace unos años aseguró haber incluido los voces de, las voces de su hijo como coro de una de sus canciones. Dante is the youngest of the Colombians brood, and we have a feeling that we'll see him a lot more of him. As, I, I think it's, it's going to happen. I mean, el hijo de Juanes, he's going to be everywhere. But the pressure of that, because, like, you mm. know, when you're the son of a celebrity or someone important in the industry, that comes with a lot of pressure, which, speaking of, like, your dad uh, is, like, don't bring him. royalty. <laughs> En, en televisión en Puerto Rico, so me imagino que tú como que entraste en radio, do you understand the pressure of like the legacy of that name, right? Por ejemplo, el apellido tuyo Marcano. It, what, what's, what's it like? Definitivamente, es, it's like an added pressure. I mm -hmm. mean, there's just more expectations coming. And right, people are probably harder on you because they're like, yeah. ah, el hijo de este o la hija de, de este artista se, o whatever. Se puede decir así, pero yo trato de mantenerme firme y I don't think about that stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. If anybody wants to be hard on me, it's okay. Like, we'll get the work in. So I let the work speak for itself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the rest comes with it. That's how I feel. What did it, what, what is it? Because I'm curious, ¿qué diría Juanes o Enrique Iglesias after, like, one of their their kids like hey I want to be a celebrity it must have been hard but anyway top five the I Heart Orlando I hope my favorite song made it on the list regresamos en breve I'm counting on my song being on the list I got you <laughs>